Hi guys, I am going to be doing a collective haul video and it's going to include a lot of stuff from the past month. I'll start with clothing. Uh, I don't know, every place I went to was having a huge sale. So I'll start with um, American Eagle and I'm wearing one of the shirts right now. It is an off the shoulder striped shirt. And um, I'm wearing a white tank top underneath it because it is a little bit sheer. And I got another one in just a uh, plain white. And then next is Forever 21. Now they weren't having a sale, but their stuff is usually really cheap anyway. So I picked up this shirt. It's so funny. It's a cat and a dog. Uh, and the dog is wearing a cat hat and the cat is wearing a dog hat. And underneath it says, I love you. Uh, it's also a crop shirt off the shoulder. I just thought it was so funny and cute. And then I got this tank top, which is a little bit small, even though it's a large. Um, I'm hoping it stretches out a little bit. It is a bunny and it's holding a cupcake. I think that's a cupcake or like an ice cream sundae. I thought it was really, really cute. And next is a dress from Express. It's a racerback, a hot pink dress. I think it might come up looking a little bit orange. But there it is. Uh, it's really, really comfortable and uh, it kept me really uh, cool when I was uh, in the south where I went for my mini vacation. And then Zara's was having an awesome sale as well. So I picked up this... Uh, kind of like tangerine color or yellow orange color skirt and I got this blouse it has hearts on it I thought it was really 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 pretty uh, and it's flowy you definitely have to wear something underneath because it is very sheer and I went to a couple of Zara's and I saw these ballet flats, but they didn't have my size, so I was really bummed that I wanted to get like this black pair that were super comfortable. But I settled for these because they are comfortable as well, and I love the polka dot design, which the other black flats um, I wanted did not have. And these are size 38, which I think is a seven and a half. The sevens were I could sometimes pass for a seven, but I decided to get not to get the ones I that were in a seven because they were a little bit tight but yeah these are kind of like a dark gray with this little bow right here just really really cute shoes and then um when i was in the south i got two pairs of shoes which is a lot i shouldn't have bought them but they were actually um one are these black flats which as you can tell i'm obsessed with flats i don't wear heels um just because my feet i don't know they really hurt my feet so i just wear flats all the time and these are um just black flats but they have like a sheen to them and it's funny i actually <laughs> own a pair of these already um but they're I've worn them so much they've been very loved um, so I decided to get these because they were on clearance um, they were originally $12.99 which is not a bad price at all for shoes in the first place but because I saw they were on clearance for $3.88 I had to get them um, and like I said I wore my other ones out so you could definitely tell they've been worn and torn um, so I picked these up and I just couldn't pass up the 388. <laughs> so I got those and then my house slippers, which I'm wearing right now. So I'll show you why I had to get another pair of uh, slippers, which I've been on the hunt for, but I just couldn't find something that I liked the way that they felt and looked. Uh, but these are the current ones I have now. As you can see, they're just almost on its way out and I sometimes slip on them, which can be dangerous. Uh, so I found these and that's what they look like. I know, just, wow, why are you showing me slippers? Um, but these are Fit Foam Soft Comfort Footbed 
and it goes in, I don't know, it fits to your feet, it's so comfortable, as soon as I slipped in them, I had to get them, uh, they were from Bur Burlington Shoes, and they were, um, 40, but I got them for 34, and it was funny, the woman in front of me also got these, so if you could find these, um, get them, they also had them in pink, but I just decided to get these instead, and I also, oh, you know what, let me show you these from Zara, I forgot to show you this purse I got, uh, I think they had this in gray and blue, but I decided to get the blue, it's more like a, a slate color maybe, I don't know, uh, but I love this bag, it's perfect for just going out, um, and the thing about these, this bag is the material, I spilled something on it and I just could easily wipe it off. It was great. Um, not that you want to go around spilling stuff on your purse. Uh, but I love the clasp in the front and the handle, uh, I'm sorry, the strap is really cool. It has a chain on it. And the inside is so cute. It has like a floral print. And it, like I said, it's just the perfect size for like when you want to uh, go out for a and night. when I was down in the south, I um, went swimming to the beach and stuff. I, I don't know why. I only brought like one pair of shorts with me. Um, so I decided to get these shorts. They were from Walmart. They're the OP or OP brand. And... The thing about these, which I didn't know until I wore them, is they soak up water so well. Like, you could still be a little bit damp, and this will just protect wherever you're going or sitting. Um, and the color is really fun. And then next will be makeup or, or beauty-related items. The first thing is from Victoria's Secrets, and I decided to pick up this pink Sunny and Happy Body Lotion. And it's a new, uh, I guess, new so smell or something. I picked up this lotion for twelve dollars, but I got it for like six because I had a five dollar or six dollar gift card, and I love this smell. It smells so nice and clean and citrusy. I really, really like this. Uh, Forever 21, I went a little bit crazy and I bought more nail polishes. Uh, not that I need any more. I have way too much already, but I decided to get four colors and this is the first one. As you can see, it's a hot pink and it's called Neon Pink. I just can't pass up like the nail polishes. The first one that I got was uh, the minted one and the color payoff was so fantastic and for $2.80 I just have to get it. Uh, so this one is hot pink. I wore this when I was on my mini vacation and it lasted me the whole weekend um, and I didn't have a top coat on but this is a really great color. Then I got this light yellow. Um, I tried this and it's not as great as the other ones that I had gotten, but I really like this color. Uh, then I have taupe. And I have it on right now over there. It's a pretty good uh, nude color. Next is teal. And this color is funny. It's metallic-y, uh, but it kind of goes on, dries matte I don't know how to explain it but I have that color on right now very very nice color uh, and then I did not that I don't need any more makeup but I did pick up a few makeup items let me just get everything okay so I picked up this Milani uh, eyeliner in black and uh, I heard so many good things about Milani eyeliners that I decided to get it and it's a retractable one so it makes it easier uh, to for it to come out and you don't need a sharpener but the only thing about it is uh, when you first get it, it it has like a really pointy end but after you use it it doesn't have one anymore so if anybody knows of a way to like get it pointy again that would be great because I really do like the way that this feels so this is it glides on so nicely really really nice and I'm wearing it like on uh, the waterline 
Next, I picked up this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer, and this is new as well. I um, I do have a favorite primer. It's the Rimmel Foundation Primer, but I'm always on the lookout for other primers just because um, I always want to have like options instead of just like one. And then the next few things are lip products. I got this Colorish Lip Gloss lip gloss, and it's just a, I got this because of the color. It was a really pretty uh, baby I pink color don't really like this. I tried it on and I don't know, it just didn't look that great on me. There it is, but I mixed it with uh, this new CoverGirl lipstick and it's called South Beach Sand and I, as soon as I saw this I had to get it because of the color. It was just really pretty. And that's how it looks right there. It's that one right there. Um, and that's another thing about this. I didn't like this by itself, but when I mixed the two, it was just so pretty. Uh, I'd definitely be wearing that combination, so there it is together. And then I got this new e.l.f. Glossy Gloss, which I'm wearing right now, and I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I went with this color. Um, I'm actually going to pick up a few more e.l.f. Uh, glossy Glossy glosses um because i wasn't sure i would like it and it's the same thing i have with the matte uh lip marker or whatever you call that i didn't wasn't sure but i love it so i'm going to be picking up more of both of those but this there is, is really really right nice there really 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 nice and it stays on the lips it's shiny but it's not sticky so i really like that and then the last thing is this Vaseline Aloe Fresh Hydrating Body Lotion with Aloe and Cucumber Extracts. And the reason I like this so much is because it's a non-sticky formula. I hate lotions that are too oily or anything like that. So this is great. And this isn't even the actual bottle that I got. I This came with like this huge jug that I don't have with me right now. But it's going to last me forever. Uh, and I got that pre for actually for my friends who got sunburn i didn't get sunburn because i always apply sunblock every chance i get um but i'm using it also as a preventive measure in case i start peeling and stuff because i did get a tan uh yeah and that is my haul from like the past month yeah, or I hope so you guys are having a great summer i'm sorry this video is so long but as you can see i accumulated a lot of stuff um and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.